week against the Dems' push for impeachment as the left continues their attacks. My next guest is outraged and says this is not an impeachment process and certainly not a regular one. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton joins me now with more. All right, Tom, good to have you here. Um, what effect do you think there is with the failure of Nancy Pelosi uh, to do that roll call vote to get 218 votes to create an official impeachment inquiry? Well, if she's trying to get documents out of the White House, uh, it's going to be tougher, at least legally, if there are subpoenas that uh, they try to enforce in the courts, because the courts are going to be asking questions about, well, what's the basis of this subpoena? Is there a legitimate legislative intent here? And and the White House is going to say, no, they don't. They they have this faux impeachment inquiry. They're right. just fishing. And we've got these presidential prerogatives that we have to protect here. You know, impeachment doesn't overrule the Constitution. The president has rights both as president constitutionally and as a citizen. And uh, the, 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 the failure to uh, allow him to exercise his rights suggests further that the corruption uh, needs to be addressed more directly here. Because well, in my view, this is a coup, not impeachment. Uh, clearly. And the presidential power, of course, is at its height when we're talking about foreign affairs, White House personnel and White House documents. And it's certainly uh, with whatever this joke is that's going on where, you know, impeachment always takes place in judiciary, never in intel. But um, let, let's talk about uh, the fact that the whistleblower never bothered to tell the inspector general that he had approached Adam Schiff, uh, Schiff's office. Adam Schiff lied and said that he and uh, his staff or no, no one had spoken to the whistleblower when during a month's time they set up the whole narrative, got him a Clinton lawyer. We know the person's a Democrat and, and is friendly with a very high ranking Democrat uh, CIA member. All that stuff it is, you know, indicative of, you know, almost a narrative that they created. And so they're almost in a rush to do this, get the information out, I guess, in the hopes of getting 218 votes. Yeah, that's why, you know, speed is on their side because it doesn't allow uh, a fair investigation of what I consider to be the underlying potential criminality in how this whistleblower complaint came about. Uh, it looks to me like there were people in the administration deep staters, whoever, who were mishandling and sharing improperly classified information to target Trump. They wanted to leak it out, so they gussied it up, presumably with the advice of Schiff World, into a whistleblower complaint and uh, thinking that would legalize it. But the other problem is they were communicating with Schiff about it outside the ordinary process. Schiff was lying about it, misstating what was in, uh, actually in the f underlying transcript. And they all knew what was in the underlying transcript, so they were misstating and mischaracterizing it. So you got this fundamental corruption behind the launch of this impeachment inquiry. That's what needs to be investigated. Okay, so if what's I were the president, happen? I'd ask the DOJ to investigate whether there were illegal leaks related to the targeting of him through this latest scam. And what's going to happen? Who's going to investigate it? I, 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 uh, well, I think uh, that's the other goal here is to freeze any investigation, not only of this, but of the Democratic machine and uh, the spying illegally on President Trump. Uh, this is ab as much about protecting themselves from criminal investigations, Strzok, Page, Comey, Clinton, Obama, etc., as it is about targeting Trump. And they hope to freeze the administration as they did with Mueller. They froze the Justice Department, protected Hillary from consequences, and now they're worried about Attorney General Barr doing his job. And uh, even the slight possibility of him exposing what went on is enough to try to get them to destroy the Constitution and remove the president to protect themselves. Uh, this, this is a constitutional crisis caused by uh, lawless politicians who are abusing the powers entrusted to them to protect themselves from a criminal investigation. Let's be clear. Well, you know what's interesting? And, and in my research, I found out that, you know, when Mitt Romney came out and he was, you know, full bore with this impeachment stuff uh, in the Senate. And I found out that when he ran for president in 2012, his NSA advisor was a guy by the name of uh, Joseph Coffer Black. And it turns out, I think we have a photo of him, that Joseph Coffer Black, uh, he's an individual who's close to Romney. And you're going to love this. 
uh, was a member of the Burisma board, which might explain why Mitt Romney uh, has so much venom when he's talking about this and ignoring the Joe Biden piece uh, when a friend of his is on the board of Burisma, which absolutely the Ukraine has indicated they're now going to reinvestigate because the, uh, the, the, the other case was closed apparently prematurely. You know, Judge, half this town is on the payroll of foreign governments. Uh, the idea that a presidential communication with a foreign head of state is scandalous when, as, as you highlight, you've got everyone with their hands in the jar for uh, foreign potentates is uh, just the height of hypocrisy. But it, it highlights where you're, you're talking about the Senate. The Senate is going to have to try any impeachment. Right. And if I were the, the Senate majority leader, I'd tell the House... This is dead on arrival. We're changing the rules. We're going to kill it before it even gets out of the cradle here. And uh, we're not going to follow up with an impeachment trial here. We're not required to under the Constitution. And we see the corruption here. And we're not going to buy into and play your game and ratify your abuse of power by further harassing the president with an unnecessary but impeachment the, trial. You, they should throw the charges out like a judge would if the prosecutors were corrupt. But the good old Mitch McConnell is like, yeah, yeah, if they do, we're going to have to listen to it. We'll have a trial. I mean, what's up with that? Well, that's those are the current rules. And I think American citizens should be asking Mitch McConnell to exercise his prerogatives as majority leader. They run the, they run the Senate there All and right. change the rules. All it's right. not a Tom suicide pact. They so can change the rules to protect the Constitution. I agree. Thanks so much. And Greg Jarrett, Charlie Kirk are still